what up, what up, crew? Let me know if you can see me. Let me know if you can hear me. Happy Monday to everybody. Making sure I got everything here. How's everybody doing? Good, good. What's up, Claudette? What's up, Kelly? What's up, Betty? What's up, Debbie? What's up, Carol? Christine, Monica, Tanya, Linda, how are you? What's going on, Kevin? What's up, Michelle, Karen, Patty, Roxy, Rich? Everybody hear me okay? See me okay? Sweet. Let's go. All right. We got the scoops back tonight. All right, we got the scoops back tonight. I did make a little mistake. I grabbed some hats at the warehouse today because I knew I was all out of them. And then I got into doing other stuff at the warehouse. And then, oh, let's get, uh, let's get Instagram in here for a minute. And then, of course, when I went to go get all the stuff from the warehouse I got out of, at the warehouse, out of my car, a little while before the live here, I forgot at the warehouse. However, the good thing is that I do have a few visors here still, so I am still going to cut the template on, tonight we're going to be cut, cutting on the Cricut Explorer 2, okay? Every Cricut Explorer 2, every Cricut's going to be a little bit different, okay? Every setting's going to be a little bit different. Um, there's different ones where it cuts better, but I'm going to show you kind of the, the ways that you get the best results, and hopefully that helps all of you guys as well. So it might not necessarily be the exact pressure, the exact cuts, the exact everything on your Cricut, just depending on how old your blade is, how new your blade is, whether you're using a Cricut Maker, a Cricut Explorer Air, a Cricut Joy, and so on. But it is going to be pretty dang close. So it should kind of get you in that idea of kind of where you want to be. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of our fonts. I'm going to um, cut some of the Magic Flash template material, and then we are going to press it onto the visor over here on the press, which I do have the heat press on. Thank you for reminding me. And then our colors for tonight, okay? So here's the deal. For we are rocking the spin wheels tonight, okay? Same rules over here. Order of $100 or more, you get a small wheel spin. $250, Plinko drop. $500, big wheel spin. All right? And we made some pretty cool things. So I did add a few things. We're probably going to be giving away a lot of stones tonight. So the small wheel spin here. You can see I have a 10 gross of Korean low lead on there. I have a 10 gross of diamond cut crystal on there still, right? But I also have the Plinko drops here, but I also have a scoop of sapphire, and I also have a scoop of orange, Korean low lead. A scoop is a 20 gross. Actually, it's more than a 20 gross. So the scoops are pretty big, which is going to be pretty sweet. We'll probably have a good amount of those. And then I also added, I know you can't see it right now. Oh, you can kind of. On the Plinko board, I added that yellow one. And that is, if you land in that Plinko drop, you get a scoop of orange and a scoop of sapphire. All right? So that's going to be sweet. And then in our big wheel tonight, we still have the silhouette cameo. We have another scoop of each. So that's technically a 40 gross of stones right there. Okay? 40 gross of stones, which is sweet. We got the full artwork packs. We got the two mini packs. Five feet of bling anything, five feet of HTV anything. I love these spin agains because it gives you a better chance at winning. Remember what I did last week? Uh, that would have been a 40 gross. But we still have the silhouette cameo four on there as well. All right. So you guys are going to get the ad in just a minute. When you get the ad, make sure to hop back in. You're going to get the ad. It's going to kick you out probably. Make sure to hop back in because you don't want to miss what we got going tonight. All right. Um, the stones are all SS10 stones. So basically SS10 stones I use, I'm almost to the point where I say 99% of the time 
However, I'm probably actually down to 97 because I have been using it on some different things like visors and stuff lately. I'm going to give you an example right here. So this visor right here was done in one of our lives where I just did Mustangs, Baseball Mom. I used a rhinestone true type font and you can see this is the strawberry up top for Mustangs. That's an SS10 stones, and then down below to fit baseball mom, I did SS6 stones. So there's a lot of times where the SS6 on something like this is going to be amazing for you and work great. Where I don't recommend using the SS6 stones is when you're doing something like a big design on a shirt and you have a big mixture of like 10s and 6s and 16s and so on. How do you make a rhinestone template? We're going to be doing that on the live here tonight. Um, all of you on Instagram, make sure to head over to the YouTube channel because that's where you can qualify to get the spins. And that's where we're going to be doing the giveaways as well later. So everybody knows how to earn a spin and everybody sees the different coupon codes for tonight. So right down here, different coupon codes for tonight. TRW Live 65 is 65% off all designs, fonts, and full artwork packs. And then TRW Live 20 is 20% 20 off all rhinestones. Listen, Magic Flock, the blue material to cut the template, 20% off Magic Flock. Supplies like hot fix tape and different things that you need, plus I did include it because I had a few requests tonight. I did include the rhinestone t-shirt starter kit into the 20% off as well. So that is also 20% off tonight with the code TRWLIVE20. All right. And then any order, any order that will be, that is, oh, oh, Siri's trying to help me. Any order over $100, okay, before shipping and taxes will get an automatic small wheel spin, but your order has to be placed in the next hour and 22 minutes, okay? Has to be placed by 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. If it is placed by then, this is only honestly only gonna take us probably like half hour, 40 minutes. I'll go slow and explain it and everything. Um, but um, I think Bling Anything might also actually be 20% off. Let me check real quick. I just had that question. Let me see. I'm going to go to the website here real quick. Let me see if the Bling Anything is 20% off. I am not sure, but we will see. Let's add it to the cart. Let's go to checkout. Let's get rid of that. And then let's apply the code and go TRW Live 20. Oh. Boom. Let's freaking go. Everybody, Bling Anything is also 20% off, which means that HTV Anything is probably also 20% off. Which, honestly, I didn't know that that was going to be on there tonight. I am really bad at creating the coupon codes sometimes. I'm leaving certain things out. However... For the benefit of you guys, obviously I didn't leave that out. So bling anything, yes, 20% off with the code tonight. All right? All right, we're ready to rock and roll. So I do I want to show you one thing real quick. With, with the Cricut, we are using one of our blades with the Cricut. So we do have different blades. So that doesn't mean... I promise you, it doesn't mean you have to go buy a blade on our website, okay? The blade that comes with the Cricut, it's going to work, okay? It might not last as long. It might not cut quite as good, in my opinion, but it's going to work. So I'm not telling you that you have to go buy one of our blades on the website to cut the Magic Flock because you don't have to. However, I have been using this blade for, man, I've never changed it. So however long I've had this Explore Air 2, and again... I don't cut on it a ton because I have a graph tech, but any time that I do, I've been using the same blade since I've got this machine. And I got it at least a few years ago. All right, let me drop this back in here. 
and let me grab this. I'm going to bring Instagram. You guys are going to be able to hang out for the designing part, but then I'm going to flip over to TikTok after that, okay? So make sure to head over to YouTube. So Instagram, let me get you guys in here, and let me switch the screen. Well, I'm going to actually keep the screen on here because I want to go into design space. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not a huge fan of going into design space, as you would not either if you had the Wizard and Corel and a graph deck, right? So I promise you, the only reason I do these is to try to help you guys, okay? I don't sell anything Cricut. I don't sell, obviously, the Explore Air 2. I bought that thing full price just to teach you guys how to use our different materials. So, I'm in design space, and I can. one other thing I can guarantee you is almost every one of you in here are better than I am at design space because I have literally only touched this thing if I'm on a live or making a video. Other than that, I never use it, okay? So there's always updates and stuff that will come out, and I'll have no clue about it because I'm never on it. And then you guys are the ones who normally inform me, so it's pretty cool. All right, so... I'm going to head over here. I'm going to go to my canvas, and I'm just, I'm just going to put something simple on this hat so everybody could pop. Oh, did I even tell you? I kind of did, right, because you saw the spin wheels. What stones are in the scoops tonight? I didn't. I, I mean, I, technically I did tell you, but I didn't officially tell you. And I officially also need to get them. Give me one second. I need to get them onto the main page. Hey, Pilar, can you hop in and add the two scoops to the main page? Because I don't think I finished that. I was in the middle of doing it right before I went live. And I don't think I actually added. Can you guys see the two scoops on the main page yet? Let me see if I can. Oh, Pilar's doing it right now. Awesome. So I'll show you the colors as Pilar is getting them onto the main page. These, if you live in Florida, they could be pretty cool. And they're just popular colors all around. So we have our Korean low lead orange, which is always a super popular color. Korean low lead orange, and the scoops are this scoop right here, and when I scoop them, I mean, I'm talking like this, to where it goes over the top, okay? It's normally with a scoop around a 20 to 25 gross, somewhere in there. And then the other color is our Korean low lead sapphire. So two colors that you are going to use all of the time. Okay, orange and sapphire I frequently use. Okay, now, is that really a deal is normally the next question. Well, let me show you that real quick. So if I were to go on the website, Okay, if I were to go on the website right now and go to rhinestones, okay, and choose hotfix rhinestones, and even with the quantity breakdown or whatever we want, let's just say we wanted to get sapphire stones and I want a 20 gross. So I would need two bags, correct? I'm going to add that to my cart and then I'm going to go to checkout and check this out. Let me delete that out of there. On a normal day, these are $20.56 for a 20 gross, okay? On a normal day, $20.56 for a 20 gross. You're going to get more than a 20 gross for how much do you think? How much are you going to get more than a 20 gross for? Oh, Pilar's already got it done. Let's go. More than a 20 gross, right there, $10. I see $16, no, $10. 
it is more than a 50% off discount. We don't do this often. You guys know we've done it, what have we done it, two times now, I think? I think we've done scoops twice. So you're getting a 50 plus percent discount on this. Normally 20.56 for $10. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? Okay, so again, please do not go order them under the regular rhinestones because you will not get that deal on those. You're going to get 20% off all of those. But to order the scoops, okay, to order the scoops, you have to order them here. Can you get multiple scoops? You could get five scoops if you want. Think about it. Five scoops, right? That's 100 gross of stones at basically 50% off. All right, so hopefully that lets you guys. Now, here's what we are not going to do. Everybody always asks us when the scoops are over and we end it, I missed the scoop, can I get the scoop deal? We aren't going to turn it back on. We aren't going to give it to you. Okay, I'm telling you in advance right now. All right? This is special for the different people. Now, it will run through tomorrow. Okay, the scoops will. They'll go through tomorrow, but if you get them tomorrow, then you don't earn anything towards your spins for tonight if you want to get any spins. Remember, order has to be over $100 to get a spin, though. All right, we ready to roll? TRW Live 65 is not working. Ooh, why not? Let me see, because I know you guys are going to be ordering, so let me make sure those are working before, um, before I get into this. Anybody else having an issue with the TRW Live 65? Net sale, you get a spin. Yes, correct, Liz. Thank you. All right, TRW Live 65, 65% off, and it's 65% off designs, fonts, and full artwork packs. So I'm seeing 65% off, should be working there, TRW Live 65, is anybody else, it is working? If everybody can, I'm not saying to buy something right now, just see if it is working for you. It looks like it should be and I'm going to test it real quick too. So let's just say I wanted this awesome pack, um, pack six. We're actually going to be using a font out of this pack tonight, okay? We're going to be using, um, or I think we might, or we might use the general font. But let's just see. I go add to cart here. This one's got 30 different fonts. And you can use both codes as well, the TRW Live 20 and the 65. So let me head over here. Let's go TRW Live 65. And boom, yeah, $97 off. So it should be working. Should be good to go. All right. Let's get into designing. So actually the font I'm going to use is the general font. It's a smaller rhinestone font. And I'm not sure if you've noticed this, but we started to, in all of the newer fonts, we started to put numbers and uh, number sign. Or for kids nowadays, hashtag, right? So if I go to text here, I'm just going to do hashtag trending and we're going to make a trending visor and we're going to do it in like an orange orange and black will look nice so the fonts i'm going to use that i said i'm going to head over here to fonts i'm going to go to system okay that's going to choose all the fonts on my system and i'm going to go to did i say i was going to do general let me see Let's see what size the general A looks like. Okay, so here's the deal. And this is how many of, by the way, how many of you out there are Cricut users? What software are compatible with uh, cutters? Um, honestly, any software is compatible with the cutters. It's just because all, for example, the cutters that we sell all come with a cut software. The only thing that you'll have an issue with is if, for example, you use design space and you can't export your design. So that's where you want to get into at least like designer edition or something. Oh, we got a bunch of Cricut users. Let's go. Okay, so Cricut users, here's a big trick for you. 
All of you have seen how I show you how to do the contour feature to make sure the stone circles are right. However, there is an easier way, okay? And Pilar and all of them work their butts off to get all of this information for you to make it easier for you guys. So make sure to thank them, but check this out. If you are on the website, okay? And we are going to use this general font. So I'm just gonna search general here. And I know this general four pack is a pretty sweet little four pack. A lot of you guys got it a few weeks ago, right? Check this out. When I go to general A, we have our regular point size if you're using a regular software. And then we have something special just for all of you Cricut users, okay? I want a point size in my Cricut of 32.13 for SS10 stones, okay? 32.13. So what that means, I come over here, right now my default point size or font size is 72, right? So I'm gonna go 32.13 enter, and I'm done. That's size perfect for SS10 stones now. So much easier than that contour and delete them all, then bring them all back, and then size them to 0.135 and blah, blah, blah. As long as you know what that font size is by going to the actual font on the site and looking at that, take advantage of that, okay? So, now that we have that, here's what I'm going to do. I need to now just create like a weed box around it, okay? So check it out. I'm going to come over here to Shapes. I'm going to click on a box. I want to unlock this box so I can move it to any shape I want, right? Otherwise, it's only going to let me make the box like a big square. So I'm going to come up here and click Unlock, and now I can drag it to any size I want. I want to see the word trending, so I'm going to come over here and move the box to the back. And there we go. Now I can look at this and I can say, that looks good to me. All right? And now this is where it makes it really nice. Highlight both of them. Come down to the bottom right and hit slice. And what that's going to do, it looks like it did nothing, right? But grab the box and boom. There's your template. This we don't need anymore. Delete. And we have a rhinestone template. So if it were a different font, if it were multiple fonts, I mean, that's exactly how I made this cool visor right here. It's You could make a full shirt with text on it. That easy in design space because of the way we make our rhinestone fonts and the way that we give you those font sizes. Okay, so now what we want to do, I'm just going to throw this up into the corner. I'm going to head over here to make it. And I will show you the settings that I'm going to use. Okay, um, 32.13 was, now Kathy, please remember, that's only the font size for that specific font. Okay, and I'll give you an example. That's the general A font. However, let's go to a different font. Okay, let's go back to our main page here, and let's find a different one here. And just to show you, I'm going to go to Fonts and New Fonts, and then we have other fonts as well, okay? So some of our newer ones, some of our older, the Traveler font, SS10 is 37.2. So please don't assume that 32.13 is the size for every font. Okay, it's going to vary based on the font, but we have that information for you. Holy crap, I've been trying to figure this stuff out and what those tools are forever. Oh, this, that's awesome, Brianna. Thank you. Okay, head back here. Now we're going to go ahead and you know what assuming does. Yeah, it wastes a lot of money, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go and hit continue. I'm going to use a cutting mat, and I'll show you all that here in just a minute. I'm going to show you how I'm going to set up my material as far as my settings. And like I said, this isn't perfect for everybody, but it's going to give you a ballpark, okay? It's going to give you a ballpark. So <clears throat> I'm going to go browse all materials, and then at the bottom, I'm going to go material settings. 
I'm going to scroll down and show you what I'm using tonight. So I'm using this setting right here. TRW Magic Flock. I'm using a 45 degree blade. I have it set at a force of 300 with a two time cut and a fine point blade. Okay. 300, two time, five point blade. Good with that. So that's my setting right here. Now, what I also do is I use more for pressure. So that part is set up. So let's head over here and let's get the cutter set up. All right. So got our Cricut Explorer Air 2 here. We got our magic flock. And we got our cutting mat, okay? Our cutting mat is very flimsy, which I like. It makes it a lot easier to roll off your materials and it doesn't crack. So I prefer our cutting mats. We, I had them made specially to be like that. So again, do you have to have our cutting mat? Is, does only our cutting mat work? Absolutely not. But I do... We took a while to try and figure out what like the perfect stickiness is to where it's not too much, it's enough, but then this has some give to it as well, okay? So what I'm going to do is I don't want to just drop the magic flock straight, straight onto the cutting mat, okay? What I'm going to do is I want to actually stick the magic flock onto the cutting mat. So I'm just going to cut this about that wide. We know it's 12 inches. We know the cutting mat is 12 inches wide. So then what I'm going to do is I am going to pull the magic flock off of the carrier like this. Okay. I exposed the stickiness to the magic flock and I'm literally going to stick it directly to my cutting mat. And then I'm going to grab the best squeegee in the business right here the rhinestone world squeegee. Squeegee that down to the mat. If you do any type of adhesive vinyl or anything, this is 20% off with the deals as well. Has a six inch ruler in centimeters and inches on it as well. It's awesome. All right. Load my actual cutting mat in. Good to go. Now, we're doing double cut. To cut what I'm about to cut on a graph tech would literally take like 30 seconds, maybe. To cut it on here, obviously a little bit different. So I should have everything set up over there. So I can just come over here, hit my little cricket guy. And we are good to go. So as this is cutting, I want to get some different questions from you guys. So I'm gonna pay attention over here. Um, let's see, let's see. Thanks so much for doing that. That helps so much with the cricket. I only get, oh, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. I only get my stuff from you because you help so much. I appreciate that. Newbie here, is there a starter kit for everything we need to get started? Um, Pilar, can you drop a link to the crafting t-shirt starter kit for Tanya here just to show her? Tanya, this the kit is 20% off tonight with TRW Live 20. That's an awesome starter kit that's very affordable and will get you, obviously if you have a cutter already, like a Cricut or a Cameo, but it's going to get you the Magic Flock, the Hot Picks Tape, the Rhinestones, some fonts, all that stuff, okay? Um, how does a script adjustable font work? I will, I was actually, I've had that question a few times. I'm going to show it in the Hall of Fame training this week as well. Um, but you do want, you, you can't use the script adjustable in design space because design space has no rhinestone capabilities. You would need something like the TRW Design Wizard and Corel Draw for that. Um, do you always double cut using the magic flock? Um, Kevin, with the Cricut, 
if I have a brand new blade, I, I'll normally pump it up to full pressure, 350 with a single cut and I get pretty good results. I'm not gonna lie to you, like with the Cricut, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that 15 circles are going to stay on here, okay? I don't get perfect cuts with the Cricut, and I know a lot of you do, which is amazing. I don't get the perfect cuts with it. How many non-perfect cuts do I get with the Graph Tech? Well, I don't even know how long our streak is. Like, how long of a streak have we had to where the graph tech has literally hit every single circle. It's got to end soon because I promise you it's like a Guinness Book of World Record. I should make it a Guinness Book of World Record. So, but here's the cool thing about it that a lot of people don't understand. Yes, this might not cut it perfect, okay? At, now, when I say it might not cut it perfect, what I mean by that is some of the circles might not just stay back, right? What does that mean? It means you have an extra 32 seconds of work. It means you stick it back to this, pull it up maybe two times, then the circles come up and then you have a perfect template and it works just as good as if you had a $2,000 cutter. So, Again, don't assume that you have to go get a $2,000 machine to do this. Just because when I pull this up, every circle doesn't come up, the template is going to work just as good, it's gonna last just as long, and it's gonna be just as good as the template cut on this. The downfall is, is I could have, had I been using the graph tech, it would be done, I would have already brushed in all the stones and we would be pressing this hat already. Instead, I'm buying time trying to talk to you guys and answer questions because we're still waiting for this to go, right? It's like everything, you get what you pay for. Got 65 working now, awesome, Don. awesome, let's go. Yeah, the circle's cut fine. The circle's cut fine on the Cricut. And again, that's what I'm saying, like once the template's cut, and yeah, you might have a couple circles that hang back, but it's going to brush in just as good as the Graph Tech. It just takes longer, but it's a fraction of a fraction of the cost. Now, <coughs> if with that in mind, if you're brand new <coughs> and you don't have any cutter yet, I definitely recommend the Cameo. And here, let me scoot this up a little bit. I definitely recommend the Cameo, and I promise you it's not because we sell the Cameo. The reason why we sell the Cameo is because I would choose the Cameo over the Cricut, and not even necessarily as much because of the machine. Who can tell me why I would choose Cameo over the Cricut? And it's not the machine. I'm not worried about the actual machine. What is it? All right, so if I pull this here, Check it out. One, two, three, four, probably about six of them. Eight of them stayed back, okay? So then what I would do is I'm just gonna push this down here and do that. And now I have one that flipped over on the back there and one that did that. And we're done. That is a perfect template. Once I get to this point, yes, everybody is correct in what they're saying. The software is the reason why I would choose the Cameo over the Cricut. Software for the Cameo, 100 times better. This is done. This is perfect. Okay? All right, so let's move that here. And let me move you guys a little closer. And we are going to brush this in real quick. So I got my training design. And this is the thing, like every single one of you here, okay, 
Had I shown you this template and not shown you what cutter I cut it with, every one of you here that know me would have assumed that I cut it on the graph tech. Right? You can't tell. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what cutter cut it, okay? Because you can't tell anyway. It's going to work just as good. So we're going to go orange stones. And that's, again, where I'm telling you. Like, you can trust me. Like, I'm not going to try and upsell you on a more expensive cutter until it makes sense for you. If you tell me that you can't keep up with your orders, or you tell me that the Cricut or the Cameo is taking too long and it's costing you money because you can't keep up with your orders, then 100% I'm going to say get a graph tech because it's going to get rid of that bottleneck that you have in the cutter. But if you're just doing it for fun, if you're just starting your business, you don't have a huge budget off the start, get something like a Cameo and get it started. I, I'm telling you, the, the machine I started with was way worse than these machines. All right, so brushing them in. And when it comes to brushing them in, same thing. Because the Cricut cuts nice circles, I am already done brushing that in. And any of you who haven't seen stones brushed in before, you probably think I'm full of it. But I'm going to show you. You saw how long that took? Every single one of those stones are in there perfect. Not one of them's upside down. You know, that's why we call it magic flock. Because it's magic. Most people don't understand why it does it. And there is a reason why it does it, but most don't understand. Pretty sweet, isn't it? All right. Instagram, I'm going to hop on TikTok. Instagram, head over to YouTube. I'm out. All right, so as I'm hopping on TikTok, any questions that you guys have here real quick? I'm hopping over to TikTok here real quick. Boom. Let's get them in here in the live. Go there. Let's go here. Live. And rhinestone visor. Done and live. All right. Let's get the stepchildren in here. You don't need the Cameo to use the Silhouette software if you have business issues. Yes, 100%. Yes, Cheryl. Thank you for letting them know that. Yes, so that's a great point that I need to make is if you have a Cricut, you don't have to go buy a Cameo to use the Silhouette software. You can use the Cricut machine with the Silhouette Business Edition software. So you can create your designs within the business edition, export it as an SVG file, bring it into design space, and cut it on your Cricut. And a lot of people that are newer don't know that, and that can save you a lot of money. Okay, so what I need to get here is... That's a little bit of hot fix tape there, isn't it? Some hot fix tape. Who here, let me know, who's getting a spin tonight? And who's going to win the cameo tonight? We need a cameo winner tonight. We need some more big wheel spins, and we need a cameo winner tonight. I'm feeling it. All right, hot fix tape. Lift that up, and there is my rhinestone transfer. Now, again, this is a rhinestone transfer, hot fix stones. So the glue is on the back of the stones. They get heat activated. If I wanted to, I could press this to a T-shirt right now, and it's done. Okay? But we are going to press it to a visor over here. 
So let's head over here. Um, yes, I am still running the same deal. I saw somebody ask earlier about the graph tech. If you get a graph tech during the live, you automatically get five small wheel spins. Five small wheel spins for the graph tech, five small wheel spins for the wizard and Corel. Those are the two kind of super special ones. All right, so we're good there. And then you know what I need to find? Where is, I have a dispenser here somewhere. And I was looking for it earlier. That's all right, I don't need it. Heat tape. Heat tape is your friend when using the cap press and when using visors and stuff. So, for the visor, okay, what I always do is I take this part here and I fold that down. So I'm getting just this main part. So I'm going to fold that down and you can see it. I'm not sure if, can you guys see it okay? You can see it come over the front right there. See that? And then I'm going to push this down and we're good to go. So now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to give a quick little pre-press, make sure all is good there, and that felt great there. So let's come over here and grab my transfer now. I'm always going to trim the bottom part of the transfer pretty close to the edge because we need to get that pretty close to the edge when you're doing a visor. Make sense? And then my heat tape is what's going to hold it in place. So I'm going to grab some heat tape here, drop it on that side, and then heat tape onto the other side as well. Um, how much is, so Kevin, there's all types of hat presses. I would probably recommend the Max Press, which is the black version of the Hotronics Max Press that is not the auto open. It's a little bit more affordable, a little bit less expensive. It doesn't have the auto open, but honestly, I don't need the auto open. Okay, so I'm just going to get this as straight as I can here. That looks good. You guys, that's a pretty good angle actually. Now, when I press this down, I do want to be a little bit careful because the rhinestones, if you just pressed it quick and it pushed a little bit, the rhinestones will shift a lot, okay, on a visor like this. Um, yes, we do sell it, Kevin. However, because I was a little bit careful, and did you notice the, what I did there? I'm not sure I didn't say what I did. Did anybody see how I pushed this down a little bit before I pressed? Did you guys see that? I grabbed the front of the brim of the cap, pushed it down like this, and then pressed it. And what that did is it flattened this out a little bit better because had I not done that, and this is just from doing a lot of them is what I kind of learned from this. Had I not done that, I would have closed this and then this would have pushed it down. And what can happen at times when you're doing rhinestones is if the pressure of the heat press is pushing it down, some of the stones will slide. Does that make sense? And then what you'll see on the actual visor, which you don't see now because we did it right, but what you would see on the visor is almost like a little skid mark underneath each stone because the hot fix glue is getting heat activated, but then the pressure of the heat press pushes the stone up, even like a tenth of an inch, not much, right? But it, it leaves some of the glue residue behind from where it pushed it, and it can look bad on the hat. All right, and this is actually a nice size. This size ended up being really good for this. Look at that. 
I mean, we got a half inch on each edge. That ended really nice. So again, that's why I always do these things live is to try to show you guys, right, different things and different mistakes that I made as I was learning all of this. Like, be honest with me, and I, I, I know for a fact some of you did know this, but how many of you would, maybe you've never pressed a, a hat or a visor before, how many of you would have thought of that? How many of you would have thought of flattening it out by pushing on the bill before you press? If you're new, probably not many of you, okay? Which is fine. However, it's probably, you probably would have ruined at least one visor, unless you're good with it looking like crap. So hopefully, that saved you a visor. Who cares? One visor, hey, that's a couple bucks, right? So hopefully that never, never happens to you because you'll think about that when you go press your first hat or you go press your first visor. Is that why some of the stones don't stick? It can be, Kevin, because that could also be a possibility because any of that leftover, when you see that skid mark, that's hot fix glue that is supposed to be behind the stone, holding the stone to the garment or to the hat. Make sense? So the more the bigger the skid mark, the less hot fix glue is behind the stone, which is keeping it so they don't fall off. Okay? And also, Kevin, just watch your pressure. Check your temperature, obviously. Kevin, do you have a cap press? Oh, yes. And I saw a couple people asking how to get the dots off the mat. Let me show you real quick. Kevin, let me know if you have a cap press or did you try? Okay, how did you try to do it, Kevin? That, there's not many things that I would tell you guys not to do. That is honestly one thing that I would probably tell you not to do is to try to make hats or visors without some type of cap press. And the reason why is exactly what happened to Kevin, it sounds like, is it's not going to get even time, temperature, and pressure throughout the design. It's just not. There's a bunch of, and I'm not sure what, what press you have, Kevin, but there's a bunch of presses out there that have different attachments that say, hey, throw this on, you can do hats. Throw this on, you can do this. Throw this on, you can do this. They don't really work good. I'll be honest with you. They don't really work good. And what they don't do is they don't get the right amount of pressure into every spot. So I'm assuming, Kevin, that you had some stones in particular areas where it wasn't getting enough pressure and heat to those to activate that glue. But I honestly haven't seen... There's not really one, at least that I've seen, that of the presses like on Amazon and different places that have all the attachments that those attachments work great. It, unfortunately, it just, it doesn't mean it's a bad press. A regular press for pressing shirts, it could be great. The attachments, to me, it's kind of a big gimmick because it kind of makes it seem like, oh, now you have a hat press, you have a mug press, you have a this press, you have a that press. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Okay, so to get the dots off, all I'm doing is grabbing the super squeegee. We should start calling this the super squeegee because it's super. And I'm just super squeegee, squeegee the dots right there, right down into the trash can, and my mat is perfect again. Mat is perfect. Mat is perfect. That sounds amazing. Mat is perfect. We should all say that on the count of three. Matt is perfect. Sounds so good. Matt, why does that sound so good? Matt is perfect. It just it has a ring to it. I don't know why. Matt is perfect. <laughs> hey, the mat is perfect. Let's go. All right. 
Let me throw this over here, this over here. The stones, oh, look at you guys. You guys are so awesome. My brother Matt agrees. Let's go, Michelle. All right, let me grab, oh, just for anybody that's new, how I clean up the stones on the table here. I got my little funnel, just throw my finger underneath the funnel, grab my rhinestone brush, stones into the funnel, and then back into my bag or tonight into that bad boy. All right, let's head over to the computer. Let's show you the different products that we use. So, and let me show you this. This was my plan of what the plan was to do tonight, okay? This is one of the packs that are on our website. And a lot of you who are newer are like, what the hell, why did you do that? You can't put glitter on top of glitter and you can't put rhinestones on top of glitter. Like you broke two rules. Two rules you just broke with your heat press. No, we make up new rules here, all right? We make our own rules. And the reason why we make our own rules is because it works. How many times are you washing a hat, right? And if you do wash a hat, you're like me, I honestly, when I wash a hat, I put in one of those little, um, you know, those little kind of plastic, um, it's almost like a little form like that closes up over it and you put it in the dishwasher. Why can't I think of the name of it though? But that's how I wash my hats. And the reason why you, what you don't want to do and the reason why these last is you're not going to throw a hat in the, in the washing machine and in the dryer every single time you wear it like you do a shirt, right? So we can layer glitter on glitter. We can layer rhinestones on top of glitter. And when we wash it, if we want to, we just throw it in the dishwasher where it's not going to be tumbling all around and boom, you're good. So, and that's pretty sweet, isn't it? Um, the stones I use, I see a couple of people asking, and the stones on this one, who can tell me the stones on that one? Amazon says it's a hat washer. There you go. It's the hat washer. The stones here, glacier. Freaking glacier stones are... Most times when we have these in stock, like if I do a video on them, you guys all know, right? I... Obviously, we didn't really use them to brush in and everything, but when we do a video on them or we do a live, they normally sell out that day because the glacier stones are ridiculous. They're, they're sweet. All right, so let's head over here, and I'm going to show you all of the products we use tonight. What up, TikTok? And then it's time to start spinning the wheel. You guys have 36 minutes left to get your spins in, to get your order in, okay? So, any order, okay, any order, net order, before taxes and shipping over $100 qualifies for a spin, all right? So, the stones that I used here, and you can see how sparkly those stones were, even on a YouTube video, right? were the Korean low lead. They are, okay, so I saw somebody ask earlier, and let me answer that question real quick. The 20% the off coupon code does not work on the scoop of stones. It works on all other stones. It doesn't work on the scoop of stones, okay, because we are already discounting them over 50%. On Wednesday, these will be $20.56 if you want a 20 gross. If, I'm always nice, right? If somebody really wants, just let me know here, if you really want to use the 20% off code, let me know, and I'll price them back to $20.56, and you can use the 20% off code. I'll be fair and let you do that. 
If you decide to do that, we need to have a serious conversation about your business because you would be spending a lot more money. So please, don't ask to use the 20% on it. Otherwise, they're going to cost a lot more. They would cost $16 and change with the 20% off. I think you're going to be happier with $10. Okay, so <clears throat> the Korean low lead orange and the Korean low lead sapphire. Those are the two that are over 50% off tonight. Okay, that will go on through tomorrow. However, if you order them tomorrow, which is fine, still an amazing deal, you have to order in the next 33 minutes and have an order over $100. It could be $100 for anything, not just for these. Like, literally, you could, you could get designs, you could get fonts, you can get a couple scoops, you can get a roll of magic clock, and boom, then you qualify. Are the Korean stones sparkly? Yes, Kevin, the Korean stones, and most of you guys on here know this, that have been here a while right? Most of the TRW crew that have been with us for years. You guys all know, how many of you were back in the day where we had the Chinese stones and the Korean low lead stones? How many were like OGs here? So any of you back then, okay, when you saw the Korean low lead stones, you were like, oh my God, these are the best things ever because you saw the Chinese stones, which were cheaper and not as nice. And everybody freaking absolutely loved the Korean low lead stones, like best stones. These are amazing. Holy cow, I could never live without these. Then we started creating diamond cut stones. And now it's that same way. Now everybody's like, the Korean low lead are still amazing, but the diamond cut are just at another level. And those of you on here who, who use the Korean low lead and the diamond cut, there's a difference, right? But there's also a difference in price. So the Korean low lead are going to be amazing looking stones. They have the same glue. They're going to stay on the shirt just as good. They're just going to be sparkly instead of sparklier. 100%, yes. Okay, now the Magic Flock template material. Let me show you where that is. You're going to go, oh shoot, dang it, dang it. Why didn't you guys tell me to switch my screen? Did anybody tell me to switch my screen? Oh, you can see that little screen. Um, let's head over here. Stones, Magic Flock. That's the blue material right there. That's what I cut with. So you can use this on your Graph Tech. You can use it on your your Cricut Maker, you can use it on Cricut Joy, you can use it on the Cameo, you can use it on um, your Scan and Cut, you can use it on any cutter, okay? So Magic Flock works for everybody and everything. It's just a matter of obviously finding those different settings, all right? Um, Hotfix Tape, also 20% off. Go to Hotfix Supplies, and then there is the Hotfix Tape. We have the 12-inch and the 9.5-inch, and again, that's 20% off as well. The scoop is also under there. That's 20% off as well. And then this, I saw a few of you asking, what is the mat? This is the Magic Heat Tape. This is what I used to hold the, the design, the, the transfer in place to press the actual visor. Got it? Had I not used that Magic Tape and just focused on the, the hot fix tape, keeping it in place, it would have moved. There's a 75% chance I would have messed up that visor. The magic tape, this magic tape will last a long time, okay? It, there's 216 feet in this little $12 roll of magic tape. It's going to last you a long time, all right? So we got that, we got that, uh, oh, good there, good there. Are we feeling good? Is it time? We're going to be looking at another 945 night tonight. Let's go. Okay, so again, Graph Tech. Graph Tech, five spins. Wizard Corel, five spins. Order of $250 or more, automatic Plinko drop. 
and order a $500 or more automatic big wheel spin. Everybody got it? All right, let me flip around here. Let me get the camera ready. Okay, so got that there. Good. Okay, we're just getting all set up here. And to move it along a little bit quicker, when you guys do win spin or when you do win stones, I'm going to just scoop them all at the same time later. Okay to save a boatload of time, and then you guys won't have to stay up as late. All right, good there, good there. Let's get this here. Our TRW Stadium and TRW Stadium stone and TRW stadium rhinestone. Ooh, to Mila. I'm not sure. Is there two different ones named the same? That would be weird. All right, come on, TikTok. All right, there we go. TikTok, good to go. Let's go. Okay, Pilar. I'm almost there, Pilar. Let me grab. Let me move my sheet over here so I can see as well with you and then we are going to start so remember you guys only have 27 more minutes 27 more minutes in order to get your order in for a spin and I need a cameo winner tonight damn it let's go so let me go here to orders and so I can see with Pilar and Crystal. And let me go filter by date. There we go. And we're gonna go today, the 17th. Boom. And there. So 375 you got, Pilar. All right, 375, Michelle B going straight to the Plinko tonight? Really? Let me scroll down to Michelle. Yes, let's go, Michelle. All right, we're going straight to Plinko tonight. 375. Michelle B. We're going straight to Plinko Drop. Here we go. So, Michelle, like I said before, I added this yellow one. This yellow one is one scoop of each color. So a 20 gross of orange and a 20 gross of sapphire. And then we got big wheel spin, two mini pack, one mini pack, two mini pack, one mini pack. Here we go. Michelle, let's start it. Let's start it. Let's get on fire. This is something I've never done before. That, kind of, that was kind of a mood kill right there. Like we started off the night, the very first order was a free Plinko drop and we got one damn mini pack. Michelle, I'm gonna give you an option. Do you want the one, um, I'm not gonna do this again, so don't, anybody else, it's only because it was the first one of the night, okay? Michelle, do you want the one mini pack or do you want a new drop? Let me know. I guess I really don't have to ask that question because worst case scenario, you're going to obviously get at least a mini pack, right? But that was just a, like, that was a buzz kill right there. Here we go. Round two of Michelle. Let's go. So much better. All right, Michelle, you got, 
a 20 gross of orange Korean low lead rhinestones and a 20 gross of sapphire Korean low lead rhinestones. So <clears throat> had you ordered both of those earlier today, that was like $42 you just won. Boom, let's go. All right, let me write that down. So we got um, scoop of orange, scoop of sapphire. Boom. Let's go, Michelle. You got it, no problem. Okay, next one we got 385 Jewel S. 385 Jewel S. And we got a small wheel spin for Jewel. Let's get it. Here we go. Let's get some big spins going here. Jewel starting the day off with two mini packs. That's a good one. That's a win right there. Two mini. All right, 385 is good. We move on to the next one, which is Maria B. 388. 388. Maria B. Small wheel spin. Let's go. Maria, a scoop, 20 gross of orange Korean low lead. Let's go. So we got a scoop of orange. Let's go, Maria. Congrats. Next, we got 390 Henry S. 390, oh yeah, 390 Henry S, right? 390, Henry S, and that's a small wheel spin for Henry. There we go, Henry. Let's go, baby. Henry, mini pack of choice. Congrats, one mini pack, or font if you want a font of choice as well. Next, Karen T, 391. 391. Karen T. Let's go, Karen T. Karen T. Rhinestone font of choice. Let's go. Karen T. One font. Next, we got, who is next? 392? 392, we got Mary O. Mary O. Here we go, Mary go. Mary, you got yourself a rhinestone font as well. One font of choice for Mary. Let's go, Mary. All right, let's see where else we're at. Moving on up. We got 398, Christine B. 398. Christine B, and we got a small win. Let's go. Christine, mini pack of choice. One mini pack of choice for Christine. Next, after Christine, we have Linda. Linda, you're going straight Plinka. Let's go, Linda. Linda B. Plinko drop for Linda B. Let's go, Linda. Here we go, here we go. We're going same spot, Linda. It worked last time. That way. Ooh, that was, hey. It was better than the one, and did you see the hop you got to get two mini packs? That was solid. That was solid. Can a mini pack, yeah. <clears throat> if, you got, uh, if you got a mini pack and you wanna grab like a rhinestone font or something, that's no big deal. That's no big deal, you're good. Mini packs and fonts, you can kind of swap those back and forth. That's fine. All right, Linda B. After, we got Debbie W. 402. Debbie W. 402. Small wheel. Let's go, Debbie. 
Big wheel, big wheel, big. Put a drop, let's go. Here we go, let's do it quick. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Boom. <gasps> it did it again. It dropped in the mini and hopped to the two. So that's not bad. Two mini packs of choice for Debbie W. 403, Darlene S. 403. Darlene S. We got a small wheel spin for Darlene. Let's go, Darlene. Plinko, Plinko, Plinko. Mini pack of choice, Darlene. Darlene, we got one mini. Let's go. Next, we got... Let me refresh my page here real quick. We got 404 Gregory S. 404. And that was Gregory S. And Gregory, small wheel spin. Let's go. Gregory, two mini packs of choice. Two minis for Gregory. Gregory, congrats. Now we got Gloria F, 405. Gloria F, and Gloria's got a mini pack, or a, not a, hopefully not a mini pack. Let's get a Plinko, let's get a Plinko. Rhinestone font for Gloria. Gloria, congratulations, font of choice is yours. Can those two mini packs be two, right? that's fine. All right, 406, Gretchen W. 406, Gretchen W. Let's go, Gretchen. Let's go, let's go. I'm spinning the other way. Ooh, that was a good change. 10 gross, Korean low leg crystal. 10 gross, Korean low lead. Crystal. Congrats, Gretchen. And then we got 409, Patty D. 409, Patty D. And Patty, we got a small wheel. Let's get it. Patty, you got yourself a rhinestone font of choice. One font for you, Patty. Congrats, congrats. Let's see what else we got. That was 409. Ooh, Wilma R. 412. Wilma R. 412 is going straight to the Plinko board. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, Wilma. And you guys, we only have 16 minutes left. 16 minutes left to get your order in after 9.30. Deals stay on through tomorrow, but spins are gone. All right? Wilma, straight to the Plinko. Let's get it. We have a we have a shot at a silhouette cameo here. We have a shot. Let's go. Get this small wheel out of the way. Wilma, everybody wish Wilma good luck. The big wheel is out. Make sure it's all feeling good. All tight. Where do we want to start? We're just gonna let it go. Let's go, Wilma. I'm giving a big spin here. Here we go. Oh, no. I need a big spin. There it is. Oh! <laughs> spin again. That's all right. That's all right. We were right there, but we got to spin again. Let's go, Wilma. We get another shot. Go. 
turn, 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 turn. Spin again. <laughs> oh, this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. Let's go. Oh, that's actually, that is actually really good. That's probably, what is five feet of bling anything? That's close to, thir that's 30 plus dollars. That's the first time anybody's ever actually won this. Five feet of bling anything material is yours, Wilma. Congrats. Five feet bling anything. Congrats, Wilma. That's solid right there. All right. Next, we got 417. Shakira L. I got 416. Do you see 416, Pilar? I got 416, Deborah M. Deborah M, 416. Let's break out that big wheel again tonight. Let's go. Deborah. Ooh, 20 gross scoop of orange Korean low lead. Orange scoop. Congrats, Deborah. Next, 417, Shakira L. Here we go, Shakira. Plinko drop. Don't think about it. Just go. Let's go. Two big wheel spins in three tries. Feeling it. Shakira. Let's get it. I'm gonna start it on the cameo, and then if I start it there, maybe that will tell it to finish there. We want you to end right here. You ready, Shakira? Here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, that is solid too. Five, so we already did five feet of bling anything. Now we got five feet of HTV anything. Another, man, Big Wheel's got some solid, solid prizes. So five feet, HTV anything. Shakira, congrats. Great prize. All right. Moving on. We got a couple left, right? I got a Lexus S 418. 418. A Lexus S. Here we go, Lexus. Let's get it. Plinko drop, baby. Plinko drop. Woo, too many packs. Too many packs. Too many for a Lexus. Then we got... 420, we got Betty H. Betty H, here we go. Two mini packs for Betty H. Betty, congrats. Two mini packs for you. Now, let's see who else we got here. Let me refresh because we only have 10 minutes left, 10 minutes left to get your orders in, okay? 10 minutes left. Okay, I see we had about, ooh, six or seven more that just hopped in on the game. Let's go. All right, I got, let's see. Boom, boom, boom.
Pilar. We're gonna go Twyla. Twyla S. We're going straight to Plinko. Twyla S. We're going straight to Plinko. 424. Twyla S. Here we go. Straight to Plinko. Let's get it. Oh, that, did you see how fast that damn thing dropped? That is solid. Twyla, you got one 20 gross scoop of orange and one 20 gross scoop of sapphire. Scoop of orange and sapphire. Boom, solid. How do you redeem your wheel spin? Um, <clears throat> if you want mini packs, you just email us at info at rhinestoneworld.com. Let us know what font or what mini pack you want, and they'll drop it into your account. All right, who we got next? 425 Stephanie N. 425 Stephanie N. 425. Stephanie in. Let's go, Stephanie. Stephanie, rhinestone font of choice. Font of choice for you, Stephanie. Congrats. We have seven minutes left. Next, we got Jacqueline M. 426. Pilar, I'm going to leave it up to you. What do you think? We want to go small wheel or Plinko? What do you guys think? Jacqueline M. 426. 426. Pilar said Plinko, baby. Crystal said Plinko, baby. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Let's go. Is this our third or fourth big wheel of the night? Remember last week, Plinko like hated us. Tonight, it's like a freaking magnet. Here we go. I'm not going to, I'm just going to start it where we left off. Here we go. Here we go. Another five feet of HTV anything. Let's go. It's really hard to get a bad prize on the big wheel. Five feet HTV anything. Jacqueline, congrats. Next, we got Angel O. And that is 427. Angel O. Here we go. Angel O. Let's get the big wheel back again. Angel. 10 gross Korean low lead. Nice one. 10 gross Korean low lead. Crystal. Congrats. After Angel, we have Sharon D428. Sharon D, here we go. Sharon, you got yourself a mini pack of choice. Congrats, Sharon. Next, 429, we got Chris G. 429, Chris G. Oh, we're rolling right now. We are rolling. Plinko, let's go. Don't even think about it. Drop. Oh, it was so close again. Too many packs. Let's go. Too many packs for Chris. Then we got 430 Dolly C. 430 
Dolly C. Here we go, Dolly. Dolly, you got yourself a mini pack of choice. Congrats. And then we got 431, Chevella S. 431. Chefella S. Here we go. Ten gross Korean low leg crystal. Let's go. Congrats, Shabella. All right. We are down to three minutes. Three minutes left. Um, Pilar, 247. Would that be way before time? Oh, you checked it? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so 247 Tracy R. 247 Tracy R. And it's a small wheel. Got it. Here we go. Here we go, Tracy. Tracy, you got yourself a rhinestone font of choice. Congrats, Tracy. Now, let me go back up to the top. We have two minutes remaining. And let's see if we have any more that just came in. Let's see. Um, am I going to... Um, Dawn, it's just a matter of... Before taxes and stuff, if your order is over $100, it equals a small wheel spent. All right. Where were we at? 431. Oh, we got a few more. Okay. Okay. Let's go. 432, Alan S. Oh, let's go, Alan. Let's go. Got a Hall of Fame crew in the house. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go, Alan. Let's drop. Don't even think about it, Alan. Go. We got to just go. It's close. But, Alan, that's a good win right there. You got a scoop of orange and a scoop of sapphire. Orange. Scoop of orange. And scoop of... Sapphire. Alan, congrats. All right, next. Four, three, four. Dawn C. Four, three, four. Dawn C. Let's go, Dawn. You guys have one minute to get your order in. Dawn C, let's go. You got a mini pack of choice. Congrats, Dawn. After Dawn, we have 435, Robbie A. 435, Robbie A. Let's go, Robbie. Robbie, Plinko, let's go. Don't even think about it. Drop. Oh, we were so hot, too. Robbie, you got a mini pack of choice. Man, Plinko has been on fire tonight, too. Hopefully it doesn't wear off. Okay, I got Lene J, 436. 436. Lene J. Here we go, Lene. Lene, rhinestone font of choice. Congrats. Next, we got 437, Tammy J. 437, Tammy J. Here we go, Tammy J. Tammy Plinko, don't think about it. Let's go. Oh my God, how did that even happen? I thought it was going to go on to that one, and then it shot all the way over. Oh, Plinko, have you lost your luster? 
This is our Plinko from last week. We gotta knock some sense into it. All right, I knocked some sense into it. We can't be dropping single mini packs. All right, four, three, nine. Ooh, let's see if I knock some sense into it because Shonda J is going straight into a Plinko drop. Shonda J, Plinko drop. Don't think about it and drop it. Let's go. See what that magic punch does? That's how you do it right there. I win, Plinko board. Shonda. Let's big wheel it. Make sure we're all tight on the edges here. All right, Shonda. We've been good so far. We've been good so far. Let's do this. That's still good though. Shonda, you got a 40 gross, 40 gross of sapphire Korean low lead stones. Can we just make it go boop? 40 gross. Two scoops. Two scoops sapphire. Let's go. All right. After 439 is 440, Zandra R. Here we go, Zandra. Here we go, here we go. Rhinestone font of choice, Zandra. Congrats, you got yourself a rhinestone font. So, we're at 9.33. Time's up on orders. Time's up on orders. And are we up as well, Plar? Or is that it? Anybody that feels like they had an order over $100 before shipping and everything, let us know. Oh, Plar, I see that. Okay. Let me get rid of that and get rid of new. So we got, who was our last one that I just did there? Um, 440, okay. 440, let me check this one real quick. Let's see, let's see, let's see, 440, 443, I got gotcha. you. Okay, 443, Michelle C, small wheel. Here we go, Michelle. Michelle, two mini packs of choice. Congrats, Michelle, two mini packs of choice. Is yours? Ooh, A and J Cooper. We're going straight to the Plinko. A and J, four four six. Straight to the Plinko. Don't sink and drop. It's been working. Ooh, that's still not bad. Too many packs of choice. Too many packs of choice. And then we got Lori T448. Lori T448. Small wheel spin, let's go. Rhinestone font of choice. One font for Lori, Lori T. And I think think Lisa's trying to place an order.
Lisa, if you've been trying to place an order, you've been letting us know. Lisa, let me know when you get your order in, and I'll still get it for you. Because I know you've been trying to do it. So, and it's something going on with the site. 450 Tracy B, 450. Tracy B, small wheel spin. Let's go, Tracy. Tracy, 10 gross of diamond cut crystal. That is a solid one. 10 gross DC crystal. Let's go. All right. Four three. Someone's asking what four three four three seven. Tammy won a mini pack of choice. Tammy, you got a mini pack of choice. Um, Jillian Brown, what is your order number? Do you know? And let me, I'm going to, man, this is sticking to the table. Good. No, let me pull this up for you guys. And I'm going to move the camera over here so you guys can see it as far as the different ones from tonight for any of you that weren't sure. Four, four, two. Um, Pilar, I see four, four, two. We'll get that one. Four, four, two. We'll get that one, Pilar. Feeling generous tonight. So, Jillian, you just, like, literally just missed it because of, like, just missed it because of the shipping. So, just so you know in the future, like, even if it's $99.55, like, that's, it has to, so your order was over $100. But then the shipping brought it down to just under $100. So just so you know in the future, but we're going to do a small wheel spin here. All right, here we go. Rhinestone font of choice. Rhinestone font of choice. Or you can do a mini pack if you want. No problem. You're very welcome. I am feeling super generous. All right. So is that it for that? We have 169 likes and 169 viewers. What are the chances of that? But we don't have 200 likes. So that means on YouTube. And we're going to have to figure something different with all of you over here on TikTok. Because here's the issue with TikTok is... YouTube kind of gets screwed because TikTok always pops up to like 180 or 200 viewers, but then they're only in here for like 30 seconds because when we go live and then they all drop off. So TikTok, we're going to have to do something to where maybe like whatever amount we have in the TikTok at let's say 930 when it ends. But I'm not going to change the rules in the middle of it. So I know we were over 100. So TikTok. I'm going to pick one from TikTok. And I'm going to, as of right now, only pick one from YouTube. Unless you guys can get 21 more likes in the next probably one minute. Got it? All right. Here we go. TikTok. I am scrolling here. And I'm going to stop random on somebody. And I stopped on... I stopped on Liz Berry. Liz Berry, you get a small wheel spin. 
Liz Berry, small wheel spin. Here we go, Liz. Liz, you got a 20 gross scoop of orange Korean low lead. Scoop of, scoop of orange. Let's go, Liz. And did we, we are only at 190 on YouTube. We are only at 190 on YouTube, which means we can only pick one winner. We can only pick one winner. I got 190 likes. Lisa, did you get it? Let me know if you were able to get it, Lisa. Four four eight four five zero. Processing. Okay, so here's the deal, Lisa, and all of you guys. I want you guys to remind me of this. Okay. So, if I'm trying to delay to see if you guys can get to two hundred too, let's go. If we can pull it together, let's go. Um, Lisa, for some reason it doesn't go through. Don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. And we will do, get it in. Well, I'm not doing this for anybody else because Lisa was trying to do it before 930. And that's the only reason why I'm doing this, okay? But Lisa, for some reason it doesn't go through and we get off here, you will be the first spin next week if it's over $100. Or whatever spin you earned, basically. Okay? The only reason I'm doing this is because you have been trying and you've said it in the chat before 930. Okay? So, no worries. Don't freak out, Lisa. I got you. And everybody on here will remind me next week as well. Okay? Just shoot us an email. Let us know what order number it is. And then, obviously, just remind us next week. Monday, or remind me next Monday, and we got you. Got it? All right. So, we did go over 200. So, on YouTube, <clears throat> on YouTube, we got, first name I see, I see Candice Singleton. Singleton. I thought it was Singleton. Single. It is Singleton. I don't know what I'm seeing. But Candace, you get a spin, so you'll forgive me. Candace Singleton is our YouTube is one of our YouTube spins. Candace Singleton. Here we go, Candace. Let's get it. Oh, let's freaking go. Let's go. How sweet would this be? Let's go. Oh, that's still solid. A scoop of orange and a scoop of sapphire. That's still solid. So we got a scoop of orange and a scoop of sapphire. Solid, Candace. All right, and our next YouTube one is dun, 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 dun. I got. Oh, why didn't it go back? Hold on, I already had somebody I stopped on. Where did they go? Where did they go? Where did they go? Where did they go? There they are. I got Ronnie Myers. Ronnie Myers. Let's go, Ronnie. Ronnie. Ooh -hoo! That's still good. A scoop of orange. Ronnie, scoop of orange. You got it. Let's go. 
Congrats. All right, so I'm checking one last time here quickly, so just to see. Okay, no worries. So Lisa, it hasn't come through yet. However, like I said, don't worry about it. We will, we got you on Monday. And even if you aren't there on Monday, we'll still do the spin for you, okay? And you can just see it on the replay as far as what you won. If for some reason you can't be there. I, I crew, as always, man, 947, pretty close again tonight, but I appreciate you guys. Chris, how do you, how long do you have? Um, we normally give you about a week to pick your mini packs, normally about a week. So I know it takes a little while to go through and see and see something that works for you. But what we can't do is like, people are like, oh, I got, I won a mini pack six and a half months ago. And then it literally takes us two hours to try and find out if they actually won a mini pack or not. So hopefully, hopefully um, that gives you plenty of time. But Lisa, we got you for next week. Okay. All right, crew. As always, TikTok. You guys have an amazing night. I'm out. Later. YouTube. Appreciate you guys. You guys all have an amazing night. Thanks for coming by. And the scoops and the deals will still go on through tomorrow night. Okay. But the spins, as you know, those are Monday nights. All right, crew. Appreciate you. We'll see you guys soon.